Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to build key performance indicators using Power BI. Microsoft Power BI is a powerful data visualization tool that's used everywhere right now. I'm going to be walking you guys through how to build custom KPI card specifically for three most common KPI scenarios that you will encounter. Before we move on, please hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel. And I would also like to let you guys know that I'm giving away a free gift at the end of this video. I'll be giving away a free Power BI KPI template that you can use for your work or your data projects. And um, so please make sure to stay tuned until the end where I'll be giving you guys the link on how you can download the free template. Let's move on with our first scenario. So in our first scenario, basically we want to get as close as possible to our target value. So we have our target value. If our result is equal to the target or 5% below or above the target, then it is considered green and acceptable. If our result is between 5 and 10% below or above our target value, then it is considered amber and reasonably accept acceptable. If our result is more than 10% below or above our target value, then it is considered unacceptable and labeled red here. So the 5% and 10% here is randomly assigned. Basically, you can tweak that based on your customer's needs and uh, margin. Next, we have our second scenario. In our second scenario, the lower it is, the better it is. So here we have our target baseline. And if our result, our actual result is um, below the target value, equal the or equal to the target value or 5% above the target value, then it's, it is considered green and acceptable. If our actual result is between 5 and 10% above the target value, then it is considered amber, reasonably acceptable. If our actual result is more than 10% above the target value, then it's considered red and unacceptable. In our last scenario, we have the higher it is, the better. Basically, in this scenario, it works in the opposite direction compared to scenario number two. Here we have a target ceiling here, and if our um, result, our actual result, is um, above the target, equal to the target, or 5% below the target, then it's considered green and acceptable. If our actual result is between 5 and 10% below the target value, then it is considered amber and reasonably acceptable. If our um, actual result is more than 10% below the target, then it's considered unacceptable and labeled red. Now that you're across all the three different KPI scenarios and um, the logic behind them, um, next I'll be walking you guys through how you can build um, the custom KPI card step by step using Power BI. And I'm sure after that it will sink in a little bit more and make more sense. Um, and don't forget that I'll be giving away free Power BI KPI template. At the end of this video, I'll be showing you how you can download that through a link and it is free for you to use at work or your personal data projects. And as usual, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. All right, guys, so let's get started on how we can make custom KPI card using Power BI. Um, so here I've made three cards, one for monthly operating expenses, one for food waste stage and the other one for customer satisfaction for our fictitious KPI food company. And as you can see, um, we have the trended history down here with the most recent data on the right. And then we have the actual data here, target data, the variance, as well as the KPI indicator. The KPI indicator are images that I've downloaded um, from the um, from the internet and it's basically put in as web links and shows up as images. All right, let's get to how to build a custom KPI card. So basically to get started, we have to create four different measures and that is for the actual data, target data, variance, as well as the um, KPI icon. Next, I'm going to show you how the data set looks like for food waste stage. So as you can see here, we have the metric data entered every month. Um, the latest being February, and then we have the target data, variance, um, as well as target plus 25, 20%, target plus 35% as well as the KPI data. So these are basically levels um, to indicate uh, the KPI rating. And for this example, we have four level, four rating levels. So basically four, five, six, seven. So uh, basically if the foot level, so basically for this KPI, the lower, um, is better. So if the foot level is 
at Target or less than that, then it has a rating of four. If it's more than five thousand, but um, so if it's more than five thousand and uh, less than six thousand, it gets a five, and so forth. So um, you can actually check out the formula in the Excel sheet to get a better understanding of that. So that's basically what you need for this portion of the KPI card. And the rest of the card, the base of it is basically a line graph. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did it. So basically click on the line chart and then um, fill the axis value with your date column and then, um, and then your uh, values here with your metric values. And so um, one thing about trended data and line charts with Power BI, you have to make sure that you go to this drop down value here and change it to date rather than date hierarchy. Otherwise, it's summing up all the data and it shows you a crappy line. So basically, make sure you do that to actually be able to view the actual trend itself. So there you go. I changed that. And then here we have the metrics um, historically uh, back to January 2001. Uh, 2021 actually so um, so because I want to make it a card and I want to fit this portion of the data I go to the um, y-axis and make the axis a little bit higher so the maximum here is 10,000 so I basically put the maximum to 15,000 for example and so I have more space here to basically fill in this data or basically you can fill in uh, let's try 17. Okay. Let's put this side by side. And then so you can see it clearly. So so that's done. I'm gonna also put in the um the target value so um so we can have a comparison. There you go. So the um target value is 5,000 and um, basically the rest of the graph it's uh, basically just cosmetic so I like to take away the title that on the axis just to make room for um, the other stuff on the graph and so I like to take that off and let me just close this and then move the legend to the bottom so it's not too clutter, uh, too much clutter there. And then um, I like to take away uh, the grid lines as well. Uh, let's do that. Take it away. So then we have a very clear and uh, nice um, white space here. And I also like to take away um, the title here and to make it center. Uh, so I'm going to go to title make it center and make this food base stage um, and take away all the other stuff and make this the font that I want let's go down um, increase this by a little bit and do we want it bold? nope okay let's make it 20 yeah, there you go. So that's all good. So the next thing we want to do is to change the visual of the um, line chart. And the first thing I want to do is to change the target line to dash line. And to do that, I'll go to lines and turn that on. And so on the food waste stage target line, I want to make it dash. And I want to make it gray color. So I'm going to change the color to gray instead. So, you know, the contrast is a lot uh, better. And what I want to do next is to add markers. So I'll turn this on, go down, and um, have um, the diamond markers on there. And do I make, um, and I want to make them colored. So if I want to make them purple, I'm just going to click here, purple, and there you go. So, um, so there you go, we have that. And um, next will be to change the axis to um, uh, 
it to black so we can see it better and increase the font to 11 and then, uh, and then next to the x-axis to change the icon to let's go to values make it 11 and then make this black and there you go and for the legend I want to make it black as well so go to the text make it 11 and make it black and there you go um, so this is good I'm pretty happy about this so next we'll be building these four little info cards to fill in this area and for that we're going to go back to the visual pane and select card okay so after that we're going to bring over the actual data and make that um, make the color of value to display no units um, and then i'm going to change the font to the one that I like which is this one and then um, I'm going to make the font white color because because um, I'm going to be making the background black and also I'm going to be making the um, the category label black as uh, no, white as well okay so now let's go to the background and make it black so we can see that make this I'm gonna make this smaller so we can fit it in. So let's bring that here. So basically it's the same process for target and variance as well. Um, next thing I want to show you is how to visualize the icon here. For that we'll be using the um, table visual. Um, so with that, we'll bring forward the foot icon measure down to the values field. Make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to drag it down a little bit so it's easier to see. So the last thing is to take out the header and also the blue grid line. For that, I'll be going to the formatting pane, go to column headers and make the text go white and make it as small as possible. So we'll have a small white space here. Next, we'll go to grid and go to border and make that color white. And so it disappears into the background. So let's um, make the size uh, to the size that we want and then bring it to our KPI card. Make sure that it's aligned with the other items on there. And so uh, once you have uh, the target and the variance, um, cards you can insert that in between here and you will complete your uh, custom kpi card so in this example i have mock up three kpis for kpi for company and each of them match matches the uh, scenarios that i spoke about earlier so when we look at monthly operating expenses it is an example of the closer it is the better um, scenario so the company set a target of 100k monthly operating expenses and want to get as close as possible to the value and for food wastage, it is an example of the lower, the lower, the better scenario where you want to keep the food wastage to be as low as possible. And lastly, for customer satisfaction, it is an example of the higher it is, the better uh, scenario where um, the target customer satisfaction is at 80%, but obviously, you know, the company would prefer it to be higher than that. So that's basically it. Um, basically, you would repeat the same process that we've done earlier for all the KPIs that you have and however many you have. So how do you get your free KPI template? Just go underneath my video and click on the link under free KPI template. That's all you need to do. So we've come to the end of the video tutorial today. I want to thank you all for watching and I hope the tutorial is useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Keep working on your projects, stay curious, and I'll see you next time.